Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother. Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. In the last episode, we completed Neo Star by taking on its boss, and in this episode, we're going to be taking on the exact opposite of Neo Star. Or maybe the exact opposite of Rockstar, not sure. Um, there's no lava in this world though. There's definitely no heat to be found anywhere. We're going to be taking on Shiver Star. And I actually really, really love this world after playing it for not the first time, but um playing it it's extensively for the first time today. I've always loved snow-themed worlds. I love their music. It's always super lighthearted and super charming and so happy and uh and sometimes it even reminds me of the holiday season, which even if it's late October, I still love. So yeah, I've always loved this kind of world's music, including and especially this level. Anyway, uh, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and grab Fire and Bomb, which of course is the fireworks power that I showed off previously, because we're going to be needing that later in the level for, you guessed it, a Crystal Shard. But it's a very good power-up, especially here, because you can destroy virtually everything on the screen at once. Well, everything in your way on the screen at once, because the last pop of the fireworks, um takes up quite a, it's got a huge radius of attack, which I hadn't really realized until now, actually. But yeah, do fireworks and snow levels make sense? I guess so. Fireworks on, like, January 1st, the new year, because people are celebrating that, but I guess Kirby's celebrating that as well. Anyway, yeah, I, I normally do like snow levels and ice theme levels. I really love the atmosphere, even though people say, oh, the sky will be gray and gloomy. That's honestly how I like it, in real life and in video games. But, um... The one thing I don't like about le levels like this, snow levels and ice levels and the like, is ice physics. Ice physics I'm not a big fan of. Luckily in this game, the ice physics aren't too bad, and they're um, very infrequent as well. But yeah, here comes Waddle Dee with his toboggan, and yeah, this was a great idea the first two times. We didn't get any concussions or anything. No, let's just do it again. We do get to sled through the... Um, igloo there though which I really like and I, I I think that's just the coolest thing it's really simple but for some reason it's really entertaining to me for somehow don't ask how but anyway the second one unfortunately we don't get to get, go through it because we have to hop on top of it to get our first crystal shard of this level I guess that's an even trade-off 100%ing the game in exchange for two seconds of not being able to see Kirby and Waddle Dee and thinking that's the coolest thing of all time I guess I'm just super easily entertained but there we actually get to see Kirby um smack the ground with his face, and that looked a little bit painful. Luckily, it's snowy outside, so maybe it wasn't all that bad for him. But yeah, we have to destroy that thing up there with our firework power-up, and go ahead and grab our crystal shard. Now we can trade off power-ups if we'd like, but maybe I'll save that for later. I kind of, I really do like this power-up. It's, you can move while attacking, and I think that's one of my favorite things about this power-up. But anyway, eh, let's go ahead and grab ice here, because, well, this is the ice world. May as well show off some ice power-ups. Right? Sure. <laughs> there is one really cool power-up that I do want to show off shortly here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to anytime soon, but I don't know. If I can, we'll take a look at it. But for our next Crystal Shard, what we're going to want to do, and I believe this is the last Crystal Shard at this level. Wow, the three in this level are actually really close together, despite the level being normal-ish length. But yeah, here's our last crystal shard. Go ahead and go down here and grab this. There are some other areas underwater where you can get, like, sandwiches and stuff to replenish your health, but this is the only area we really need. And fortunately, we don't have to deal with Kirby drowning, and fortunately, we don't have to deal with uh, the fact that the water is icy getting in our way, because, uh, like, for example, in Super... Wow. <laughs> Destroyed my ice power up. Luckily, there's ice enemies everywhere. For example, in Super Mario 64, if the water's too icy, you would start losing health slowly. And there was actually one bit of water where, maybe it was ice, I'm not even entirely sure which, where you would touch it and it would act like lava because it was so cold. But anyway, that's irrelevant to this, in which we don't have to worry about any of that. So let's go ahead and grab an ice cream bar in the middle of a... Well, not a snowstorm, but a very, very cold place. Yeah, that's exactly what you want to do to warm up, Kirby. I guess maybe the reason that Kirby's so... Um, easily stays warm is because he's so fat. He just retains all that heat no matter what, even if he's swimming underwater where it's many, many degrees below zero. Anyway, um, yeah, moving on, we have these new worm-like enemies. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but they'll push giant rocks at you. They don't give you a power-up, unfortunately, so they're a little bit useless. And I tried holding one above my head in my practice run, and it didn't do anything either, so... Uh, whatever. Uh, they're not too much of a nuisance, you just have to hop over the boulder that they throw. But these guys, which are sort of like those, um, brown snapping enemies in earlier levels, 
Oh, those guys are really annoying. They've got a bigger radius of attack and they chew you up and it sounds really and it sounds and looks really painful for Kirby. So I always feel sorry for him when I do that by accident. But yeah, they'll jump up and try to snap you and they actually blend in with the background pretty well because everything's blue and they're blue. But moving on to the next level, whose music I really like. Speaking of music, the menu for Shiver Star is actually really ominous compared to um, the levels it has. But anyway, we need a power for this, which I don't think is available in this level. So I'm going to go grab that really quick, and we'll start this level when I get back. And here we are, back at Shiver Star. Now moving on, we can start with this level, whose music I absolutely love. It's so joyful. It's so catchy. It's so relaxing. It's so awesome in every way. Hey, what's on the other side here? I don't think I've ever checked. Oh man, yes! One of these little point things. So worth it. So worth it, guys. You you can't beat the game unless you go and grab that point at the end of Candy Mountain here. It actually does look a little bit like a cake with rainbow-colored sprinkles on it now that I look at it. But yeah, we get an interesting camera angle here of Kirby being shot into the clouds. Not sure this is too appropriate for, like, an ice-themed world. Well, I guess it's called Shiver Star, so it's not an ice-themed world, but a cold-themed world. And it's definitely cold at this sort of an altitude, but... Let's not get technical with it, let's just enjoy such a happy and fun level. And go ahead and destroy these guys in the process. Unfortunately, we're going to have to stick with Spark for a while. I'm actually not sure if you can combine this with other power-ups and still get the Crystal Shard later on, but just to be safe and just so I don't have to play the level again, I'm going to go ahead and just stick with normal Spark for now. So, and the Crystal Shard we're getting is later on, so I'm not going to be able to show off too many power-ups in this episode, but uh, I'll make up for that later on, I do promise. But like I said, um, oh, and here we have little wind currents, also reminiscent of Super Mario 64. Everything in this game is reminding me of that game for some reason right now. But anyway, like I said, this level's got fantastic music. It's super happy overall, which totally contrasts the menu music of Shiver Star, which sounds really ominous, and it gives you the impression that it's going to be like a barren planet full of nothing but waste and solitude and coldness. <laughs> My vocabulary sure is expansive, guys. Anyway, here we have a little bit, little bit of a puzzle with this um little green orb shooter guy. Um, we have to go directly up to progress with the level, but you can shoot yourself in one of eight directions. It's sort of reminiscent of Donkey Kong Country, or the Donkey Kong Country games, rather, in which you have to shoot DK and Diddy out of a barrel thing. Um, and sometimes those rotate around and it's a little bit hard to time, but this is ridiculously hard to time. I'm not sure how they stack up because I haven't played Donkey Kong Country in a while, but yeah. All that's really worth your interest here is that crystal shard for which you have to shoot up and to the left, and you can't go back down, unfortunately. And once you're in those, um, flubbers, I think is what I called them a while ago, you can't get out of them. Like, if you shoot yourself back down, you'll just shoot into the one that shot you up there originally, so you can't really get out of that sequence once you're in it. But here we have a bunch of multicolored clouds that look like cake, and now that I'm listening to the music, actually, it sounds like something that would not be too unfitting if left in a Mario Party game. But again, that's irrelevant. All these clouds look like miniature cakes to me, and, um, knowing Kirby, they probably look like them to him as well, so... <laughs> Surprised he's not eating him. I guess he's on a mission right now, though. He's determined to get all get through all of this without gorging himself. That's for after the adventure. Even though in some cutscenes previously, he's already done that. But anyway, moving on. I believe we're almost to the end of this room, which is... Is there anything over here? Yes! Another point! Oh my gosh, that is so worth it. So worth it. That's not a waste of time at all. But yeah, moving up here... We're in a narrower corridor, which I guess if Kirby was claustrophobic, this might evoke that, although it's clouds, so you can just kind of go through all of them. Although, it's kind of selective about what cloud you can go through and what cloud you can't go through. Like, the one we're standing on now is obviously some sort of solid, but, oh jeez, almost got eaten by that guy. Let's not do that, because it's actually a little bit gru- well, it's not really gruesome, because all you see is the thing chewing while it has Kirby in its mouth, and those frog enemies from earlier levels did the same thing. But yeah, let's just avoid him at all costs anyway. I don't like watching the animation. Oh no! <laughs> and then he spits him out with a bunch of black stuff. And, uh, it's just... No! What I'm most afraid of is that I'm going to lose my power up here and I'm going to have to go to another level to get it again. But fortunately, that didn't happen. And here we are in the room that we needed in. In this happy looking little wispy sort of thing. <laughs> God, it's got such a happy expression on its face. It looks 
a little bit ridiculous, but funny at the same time, so that's forgiven. Uh, yeah, we have to destroy this, and to get the crystal shard after this, we have to destroy the middle thing with our spark power-up. So let's go ahead and stand atop it, and wait, 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 hold on a second. Well, crap, it seems like since this thing is yellow and orange, I thought it was just yellow on my practice run, and maybe I was seeing things. Um, seems like we can't destroy this little box with spark on its own, so I'm gonna have to go back right after this episode and get Needle to go along with it, which orange is Needle, so I assume that's gonna be it. So after I grab this card, I will be right back, and we're gonna get that last Crystal Shard. And finally, back in here, I can strike this box with the utmost ferocity and claim the final Crystal Shard of this level. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, and in the next episode, we will probably be finishing up Shiver Star, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys then.